Hey, what is up everyone? Deadshot52 here, back with another After Pulse video for you guys today. Welcome back, welcome back. Today I'm going to be getting some uh, crates, the assault and shotgun offers that After Pulse has actually brought back. Um, I wasn't really going to get any of these packs uh, because the last time they had them uh, and I got them, I wasn't too impressed with what I got. And plus, with the way the drop rates uh, have been with uh, this season, um, I really did not want to try to get any of them. But I was actually talking to uh, Diggs and uh, Black Pond, and they were saying that the drop rates were really good. And I was really wanting to try to get this CQR uh, Jester. I mean, that just looks... Uh, I like the skin of it. It looks a little like uh, Buzz Lightyear out of Toy Story. Um, if you want to, if you for some reason do not know who that character is, uh, go to my Instagram and Twitter. Uh, the links to my social medias are in the description, guys, and check out the post um, I posted on there. Uh, but anyway, back to uh, this topic. We're going to claim the uh, 450 gold and the uh, eight weapon packs I purchased. Uh, so Diggs and Black Pond were saying that uh, the drop rates were pretty decent. They pulled the uh, Jester um, CQR uh, that I believe they said like two five stars on one pull. So I decided to go ahead and uh, give it a shot. Uh, Far and Jade, uh, not a not a good not a good start. <laughs> uh, but of course, you know, we'll just see. All right, A500 Panther four star. I uh, hope I can pull some uh, panther, at least some good uh, panther weapons, because you know I have the uh, the gear, so come in handy. Uh, four star A500 Jade. You know I like the A500, but the problem is, you know I really wish uh, After Pulse would upgrade it. Um, I know a lot of you guys in the community uh, have been asking and saying that they would like the A500 uh, upgraded. So After Pulse, if you guys uh, might be watching this. Um, you know, it'd be really nice if you guys could upgrade it the way it used to be in the old game. Because uh, I have a lot of A500s, <laughs> but uh, they're not that great of a weapon uh, now, unfortunately, which is sad. Because I just pulled pulled a bunch of them. All right, A500 six-star Patriot. Uh, I believe I already have a six-star. Um, I don't know if I'll upgrade that to a seven-star. Outlaw 15 Delta five-star. Okay, so I already have a five-star, so I will definitely upgrade that to a six star to upgrade my six star I already own. <laughs> uh, definitely be, uh, I'll definitely be doing that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go open some of the 1500 crates now, um, cause Diggs suggested to get the deal and then uh, go for the 1500, cause that's where he pulled like, I believe four Jesters, uh, CQRs. Um, so I'm hoping I could at least maybe get a four or a five star uh, to at least add to the collection. The gear, um, I'm not impressed with the gear, um, which we all know the drop rates uh, for the gear this season are extremely bad, um, which I'll cover that uh, topic in a later video. Um, but just gonna go ahead and get this. So I already automatically know uh, I don't have high expectations at all for the gear. Uh, six star AG10 Panther, nice, not a bad start. Uh, I've been seeing some people using that, uh, just the regular skin one. Oh, the Lynx, five star. I already own a five star, so I'll definitely upgrade that. Okay, so not a bad start. So maybe I uh, will be able to get the uh, CQR, possibly. Uh, A500 Hadron, <laughs> four star. Uh, out of the A500s, the Hadron one, is, the Hadron skin one is the worst. Um, yeah, the stats on that one isn't isn't the greatest. So if any of you guys have four stars uh, wanting to upgrade them, I uh, would not. Uh, for one, because the A500 isn't as good as it used to be, and then secondly, the Hadron is even uh, not not as good either. So, man, I'm on a A500 spree here. Alright, let's see what else. Okay. I thought that was a six star for a second. I was like, well, I could upgrade that to a seven star, but it's a five star. Alright, I think I'm in gear now. 
Oh, one of those weird masks, four star. I'm just gonna kind of rush through the gear here. Cause uh, I do, like I said, I do not have high expectations. Nightcrawler Devil, yeah, already got that full star. Full set four star. Got me. Tongue twist there. All right, four star Panther Legs. Uh, four star Shamrock Mask. A five star Patriot uh, Volunteer Cap. <laughs> five star Laser. <laughs> Sea Trace Chest. Okay, Security Barrette, four star. Uh, I believe I have that four star gear, I'm not too sure. Five star A500 Pan Patriot. <laughs> wow, I've collected a lot of A500s now, but in most of them, if not all of them, are gonna be power ups. Okay, six star Autumn. SMR. I believe I still have my six star, so I might end up upgrading that to a seven. Don't know. DMR 17 C Trace six star. I'm not too crazy about the DMRs anymore. So okay, I already own that chest piece. Junk. <laughs> the last three are gonna be bad. Five star C Trace helmet. And the last one, wait a second. Ah, oh, six star legs. Okay, I don't, I do not own those. Wow, shocking, I actually got a piece of gear that's a six star on top of that, uh, that I do not own, so that's nice. Well, enough of that, I'm gonna switch up my loadout and let's get into a gameplay real quick. Uh, here I'm using the six star Panther helmet with the uh, six star sea trace chest and the legs that I just pulled with my seven star bobcat six star uh, sick LMG uh, which is a little nice to have for the uh, assault protection guys because um, the bobcat is a sweet sweet weapon but when you're against guys that are wearing assault protection uh, it doesn't do very good so I have this uh, set up as my secondary that takes care of those guys in short order but none of these guys are wearing assault protection uh, fortunately and uh, guys uh, any of you all that might be newer to the game playing it uh, and you come across guys that are wearing assault protection don't follow in their footsteps <laughs> just don't it, it doesn't make the game fun for anybody um, if they're wearing assault protection just don't do it <laughs> I've I have the loadout um, I've used it once, um, but I have not used it <laughs> since then. Uh, so just, I just thought I would say that. I know it's annoying, trust me guys, I know it's annoying, but just try not to do it. As, if possible, just try not to do it. Okay, so team's winning. So, oh, weapon glitch there, weapon glitch. Um, after pulls. Uh, the weapon weapons are still uh, glitching out. <laughs> uh, that reload really gets you. Uh, if you follow me on any of my social medias, you know I've kind of been uh, uh, venting, raging a little bit uh, on there because of uh, glitches and uh, gamers that don't play fair uh, in matches. So uh, I apologize again for that, guys. But just uh, it was a little annoying, but. Yeah, definitely that glitch uh, and some other gamer uh, friends of mine, Killer Cowboy, Pawn, Black Pawn, uh, have been telling me too that that uh, glitch uh, is still very uh, uh, happens very frequently uh, to them. And as you guys just saw, it happened to me as well. So um, if you got if if any of you uh, guys are watching uh, uh, Dev, After Pulse Devs, uh, could you maybe check that out? Um, it might be on our end, but there's a lot of players that uh, I've heard that have said that that is still happening. Um, using my sick LMG. This is actually the first time I've used this in multiplayer, my six star, in a while, so that's not doing too bad. Well, that guy has the same idea. 
Except I think those are the f those are the five star sea trace legs. Not a bad setup. It's kind of funny. The first time I'm using this setup, I come across a guy that's using the exact same setup basically, except for the uh, uh, five star legs. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, I know I've just kind of been uh, going a little bit back and forth, uh, covering a little bit of different stuff. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate your all support. And uh, if you are new here, uh, like After Pulse, uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the notifying bell. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. The links to that is in the description, guys. Uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, catch you all in the next one. This is Deadshot52, signing off. Peace, guys.